In this demonstration, you'll learn how to create a capping surface on a geometry model in the AIM workspace. First, import your geometry into AIM in the Study tab. For this example, we'll use a model of a turbocharger. Add a volume creation task. We are going to cap the open holes on the turbocharger to prepare us for the downstream task of extracting the internal volume. We'll do so by pre-selecting the edges that we want to cap. Three ways to implement the capping surfaces are through the right-click menu, through the Objects category in the Data panel, or in the Graphics toolbar. All three options perform the function the same way. Under the Construction Geometry dropdown, select Capping Surface. For the selection method, choose Edges. You can also create capping surfaces from faces or vertices. You can also pre-select geometry for the capping surface. The next step in the data panel is to choose the edges to create the capping surfaces. Choose the edges that cap the inlets and the outlets of the part. Then, click the plus button in the data panel to lock in your selection. AIM automatically creates the capping surfaces from your selection. By default, AIM will create selection sets for each distinct capping surface that's created. This can be controlled by the checkbox in the data panel. The selections will appear as objects under the Volume Creation task. Since we created three disjoint capping surfaces, three selection sets are automatically created. This concludes this demonstration of how to use capping surfaces in AIM.